So we're going to come together. We're going to drill baby drill right away. Drill baby drill. We're going to seal up the border. Because right now we have an invasion. We have an invasion of millions and millions of people that are coming into our country. I can't imagine why they think that's a good thing. It's a very bad thing. I think it's a group of people that are probably larger in number than New York State. And we can't have that. We can't have that. It's not sustainable as a country. It's horrible. And you know, they're coming from prisons and jails. They're coming from all over. They're coming from countries that most people have never heard of. And they're coming from mental institutions and insane asylums. They're being emptied out into our country. And they're terrorists. Many terrorists are coming in. You know, in 2019, I saw just recently on a poll, they had none in 29, no terrorists. Not, now, I even say there's got to be some, but they have none. And then as soon as this group took over, they have hundreds and hundreds of terrorists coming in, known terrorists, some of them really bad. And many of them are in, and they came in, and nobody knows where they are. This is not a good thing. And we're going to have to deport. We're going to have to have a deportation level that we haven't seen in this country for a long time, since Dwight Eisenhower, actually. So I don't want to be overly uh, rough on the president. But I have to say that he is the worst president that we've had in the history of our country. He's destroying our country. And, you know, my wife attended the funeral two months ago of Rosalind Carter, and it was beautiful. And Jimmy Carter was there, and I thought to myself, Jimmy Carter is happy now, because he will go down as being a brilliant president by comparison to Joe Biden. He'll be a brilliant president. It's gonna be, he's gonna be known as brilliant by comparison. So we have to stop the invasion. We have to bring down our energy. We have to say, you know, we have, I say all the time, we have more liquid gold under our feet than any other nation anywhere in the world. And we have to stop the crime and we have to help rebuild our cities and we have to rebuild the capital, Washington, D.C. I was there on one of the Biden indictment trials, you know, I, I, this is the only person this never happened before, but I go to a lot of courthouses because of Biden, because they're using that for election interference. And it's on things like election, and I don't know if you know, but they did polls tonight on the election of 2020. Do you believe it was honest or not? 82% said, 82% said it was not. And we can't have that, Chairman. We can't have that. You can't have a situation like that. So uh, we're going to straighten out our elections. We're going to do a lot of great things. We're going to try and go to paper ballots as soon as possible. Voter ID. One day, one day elections. You know, we have these elections that last for 62 days. And if you need some more time, take as much time as you want. And so many bad things happen. We have to get rid of mail-in ballots because once you have mail-in ballots, you have crooked elections. Actually, Jimmy Carter's commission said that a long time ago. We're going to rescue our economy. We're going to save our economy. We had the greatest economy in the history of our country. There was never a greater economy, and now we don't. And when you look at what's happened with inflation, inflation is destroying. You know, they call it a country killer. Going back hundreds of years, Germany, countries that had big inflation, are dead. They become dead countries. We have to stop that immediately. And we want peace through strength. Russia would have never attacked Ukraine. Would have never done it. Putin and I get along fine. We get along very well. That's a good thing, not a bad thing. The fake news, which I would, if the fake news would become real and honest news, 90% of our problems in this country would be solved. They would be solved. So, Russia would have never attacked. Israel would have never been attacked. The Ukraine situation is so horrible. The Israeli situation is so horrible. What's happened? And uh, we're going to get them solved. We're going to get them solved very fast. I actually said Ukraine. I know President Putin very well. 
I know Zelensky very well. I'm going to get him in. We're going to get it solved very quickly. Should have never happened. Would have never happened. Now you have all that death, far greater than people understand. The numbers are far, far greater than anybody would even think possible. And you're going to find that out in the years to come. When they knock down these massive buildings in Ukraine, and then you see they announced two people were slightly wounded. No, no, many people were killed. Many people were killed. We're going to get it stopped. But it's so sad because it should have never started. People killed and a culture destroyed. You can never replace thousand-year-old buildings with the most beautiful golden domes and churches and everything. Just all rubble now. And it's so sad. It would have never, ever happened.